A woman has backed up in a defensive stance. I, I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. If you try anything, I'll... Shut up, old lady! Uh, old? That shows war. The woman shrieks and falls silent, eyes wide. It's incredibly rude, but honestly, I'm grateful. We're here for the woman to calm down before asking what she's doing here. I mean, it's pretty obvious she's here to quit. Forgive me, it was all a misunderstanding. On my own part. I'm Christy Arimura, freelance news anchor. I mean, it's pretty obvious why she was here. She was here to bleh. Though I haven't done much recently. Wait, man, I've seen you before. You're that woman that was in the news, cut. Wow, it's really true. Celebrities are more beautiful in person, man. Cut that out. This isn't the time for flattery. She says that, but she doesn't sound that upset. She seems to love being complimented. Um, anyway, what are you doing out here? Well, it's pretty obvious, man. She's here to kill herself. Let's go bleh. <laughs> Your expression clouds over. Well, show huffs at me. <laughs> you really have to ask, man. You lost your tack in your old age, man. Masa, Masao, Kimura's face came to mind. That's right, this place is... I was going to die. Yes, I know full well how stupid that is. Sometimes that's the only choice you have left. I should have known better. Such a thoughtless question passed my lips. I wish I could blame the mark for this. Oh yeah, man. I heard something about you fooling around with another celebrity, man. Not that I care about that stuff, man. That's why I came out here. So I wouldn't cause trouble for anyone. At the very end, I thought about calling someone, but couldn't, so... So I made up my mind. But, 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 but then in the forest... I have a bad feeling about this. What was in the forest? A huge man. An extremely huge man. N no, actually I'm not sure if it was really human or not, man. Oh, I'm still doing <laughs> I'm still doing shows, man. But I saw a figure like that. And then I suddenly got scared. So I ran into this cottage. I'm here to kill myself and I just ran from a danger. I'm a riot. What's wrong? You two aren't saying anything. That's the same, man. Eh? Oh, yeah. Christy must have seen Shimmy O. Which means she must also. Have you gotten a weird scar recently? One that stings every now and then? Huh? I know that answer just from her reaction. How'd you know? I only just noticed it myself. There's a strange bite mark on my palm. This is crazy. Someone receives the mark when they're already planning suicide. The height of irony. Hey, old man, what are we supposed to do now, man? That lady came off to off herself, you know? Is there any point in helping her? Help me! I'm not going to kill myself anymore, I swear, so please, I'm terrified of him. Her eyes are serious. She must mean what she says. It may be only a temporary change of heart, though, but... Alright, we'll help you. Our home base is Kiju Mansion. We need to go. Uh oh. Big stinkies. Man, stop messing with the flashlight, old man. What, what's, ha what's happening? The light won't turn on. This has happened before, but back then? I got it to go back on right away. But this time it's not working. Ah! What was that? What was that? Uh, I know it's my from behind the cottage car. Uh, is it something there, man? Shit, it's no use. 
I gave up on the flashlight and stuff in my bag. But what's the plan now? Do we bunker down to this cottage we can't even lock up? Or... We have to run out of the forest. Are you insane, Kyle? Staying here would be suicide. This place is strangely clean. That means someone is coming here. You mean he comes here? Let's go. We walked all the way here. We should know how to get back out. You're seriously going? Are you mad? Sorry, but we're out of time. Stay if you want. I won't stop you. Ugh. We step out in a pitch blackness. Damn it, I can hardly see. Anyway, we need to go straight back to the entrance with no detours. We've got no idea where he could be waiting for us. The words leave me in a rush. If I hadn't spit them out, I'd never finish. My word, my voice is starting to shake too much. Oh boy. Okay, so... Back. We're, we're out of fork already! Which way? Where do we go? I think east. We came from east. Uh, okay. Yeah! Don't yell, old lady. Something's coming closer. We need to get out of here fast. Now I go straight. Oh, I just go backwards now. I just go b another fork. Which way is it this time? South. It's south, huh? Yeah, I know, man. Oh, <laughs> quiet. Shh. Something's passing through the brushes right by us. Shit, is he following us, man? Even if he is, we have to keep going. This is nuts, man. No way we're just gonna stand around anymore, bro. Right, let's go. I just gotta go backwards. Ah! Wait a sec. Christy suddenly stops. What's wrong? Someone's coming. Huh? I'm telling you, someone's coming. Out from the darkness jumps. You can't see my face right now, but I'm not happy. Mashita! So this is where you were. You're closer than I thought. Why are you here? I had a bad feeling, so I grabbed a car and made my way here. Looks like you're in a rough spot. You can say that again. Anyway, we're on our way back. Good plan. We should have glances over at Christy. Right now! Explain later, man! We gotta get out of here! Thank you, show. We reached the entrance safe and sound. The creepy murder on the arch is such a familiar sight now. Alright, if we made it this far, then we must be... Yeah, it's all good now, man. Chrissy doesn't move. She looks worried, staring off at the forest's entrance. Uh, what's wrong? Huh? Oh. Um, over there. Doesn't it look like someone's there? She's looking at a picnic table hiding in the gloom next to the gate. My gaze is drawn over as by magnets. No! What is that? The scene before me is strange. There's a huge misshapen man with bees crawling all over his face. My eyes fixed out on his mouth. He looks like he's laughing. My heart thunders painfully when I catch a glimpse of the limp figure standing beside him, sitting beside him. It's him. That man! 
he was going to commit suicide. Masao Kimurura. It's definitely him. Fuck! Control those that are different and exercise. Ooh, I'm gonna make sure I kill your ass for killing fucking Masao. The strange voice echoes in my head again. My vision warps. He's dead? Kimura's dead? When? Why is he on that bench, man? My legs give out. When I finally can focus enough, I find myself kneeling on the ground. Uh, oh, man. Keep it together, man. It's still okay. He hasn't seen us. We have to escape while we can. Oh, God. Chrissy's completely out of it. She won't move an inch unless someone drags her. Let's go. We're going to the parking lot. Quietly. Show, you bring her. Man, you got it. Come on, Mashita, let's go. Mashita? He's gone. Huh? I took my eyes off him for two seconds and he's not by the bench anymore. He disappeared. <laughs> A machine growls and the other goes near us rustles. Gah! He's right there! Run! Machina yells, scrambling away. A hollow bang rings out from behind me. A gunshot? Must be Machida. I had no idea he was packing heat. I try I dive headfirst into the car, slamming my head accidentally into the slearing wheel. Machida tumbles into the passing sheet last. You didn't tell me you had a gun. Why would I tell you? No time to talk now. Just hit the gas. I I'm trying, man. The engine won't start. Sh shit. Uh, oh, man. What are you doing, God? Machida looks to the front windshield at the figure approaching. Hurry it up, man. He's coming. Sh shoot it. Shoot the fucking thing, God. Christy cowers in the back seat, her head in their hands. Please, God. Eek! Something bumps the hood of the of the car. The whole vehicle rocks, shake violently. But then, it turned on. Go! Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Tires squealing, we race out from the parking lot. Oh fuck! An unspeakable sense of relief fills the car. If feeling truly alive is a real sensation, then it most definitely feels like this. The greatest irony is, the on is that the only time you can feel truly alive is when you have a brush with death. No one speaks for a while. We're all soaking in that feeling. It's only after we left the mountain and reached the buildings again. Oh no, I honestly feel like talking. Still. I glance through the rear view mirror and then at, then at the passenger seat. Both Mashida and Sho are looking out their windows. Was it really okay for you to come here? If Mary finds out... Obviously, I came with her permission. Mashida immediately retorts. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have come. I get it. Mary must have also guessed we were in danger. So what happened to that explanation? Who's that woman behind me? Oh right. Tell me everything I know so far about Christy. She offers up some details as well. The moment her background comes to light, Mashita smiles coldly. Arimura. Right, now that you mention it, I do remember you. You were fired over that scandal. You. Why I never. Should I be disgusted or amazed at his rudeness? 
but the scars you all have, what were they called? Marks. Thanks. So you all have these marks? What happens when you have one? Well, Mashita butts in from the passenger seat. You die within a few days time. Well, Mashita, go ahead and fucking hit with the hard fucking baseball bat of truth, why don't you? Suffering from something like amnesia. You zone out and your brain takes a vacation. It all happened to me. Show scoffs. <laughs> you talk like it's someone else's problem, cuz. Show. Machida didn't mean it like that. You can only be blunt when discussing this. Doesn't look like Show will buy that excuse, though. Guess it really isn't your problem, man. Uh. After all, you don't have a mark anymore, man. Huh? What's he talking about? Oh. Oh, that was, uh... It doesn't matter. Oh, well, you see? Mashida already... Mashida's already lost Hino Haka's mark. He's free now. But there's no good reason for him to be here with us, but... You're putting yourself in the danger for the truth? Man, I can't believe you're like a saint, cuh. Aw, oh, man. That was Christy. Yeah, I, I really wish there was a way to differentiate the colors, because I don't know who's talking. Christy's exaggerated compliment is drowned out by Mashita's sardonic laugh. It's nothing that noble. But thanks to that, I've learned the thing I, want, I most wanted to know. And what's that? When and how people get the mark. The first time I was oblivious, but this time I was aware of it. Huh? Mashida, you don't mean... He gives me his usual crooked grin and shows me his wrist. Sure enough, his skin is blemished by a scar that looks like a spirit's bite mark. Show cries out a look of horror on his face. Come on, man! No way! Did you seriously do that, man? Man, give it up already. It's someone else's problem, right? So shut it. Well, we all got marks again. Uh, fucking... Hushida, can I say something? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You never told me you had a gun. Oh, that. He laughs scornfully and shoves a paper bag in my hand. I open the bag and find... A revival style handgun at the bottom. If you want it, take it. That's not why I... Mishida keeps on talking without stopping to hear what I have to say. It's loaded with five bullets. You can hang on to it. But promise me. Promise you what? Don't use it on anything other than a spirit. Not that there's any proof it'll work on them. Of course. Have any experience with guns? There is no way I would. To be fair, I don't really know. But at the very least, right now, I'm not getting the feeling that I can handle a gun. Oh. Only used it under extreme stress. With no experience, you won't hit your mark. Well, whatever. If I'm there, just leave the shooting to me. You can face the spirit some other way. Yeah, that's how it was at H Elementary, too. For God's sakes, keep it hidden. Gun possession gets you three years penal, penile labor. Penal labor. I'd get hit with one to ten myself just for giving it to you. And shooting a single bullet would get you more than three years, if not a life sentence. Jesus. Gun, gun laws are fucking strict as hell in Japan. So you're telling me not to use it? 
No, I'm just telling you that if it's restricted that badly by the law, that it's got that kind of power. Okay, we got a handgun. <gasps> Impossible. The Mark's color goes more vivid. We have a few hours left until death closes in, car. Welcome back, Lord H. Vatic. You as well, Lord Cho. It appears that the woman with you is also a mark bearer. We introduce Christy, and then Maria proceeds to fill her in on everything. The mark after your life, memory loss, and the spirit who curse you into the living. Christy accepts her renewed reality surprisingly quickly. I guess it's only natural after what she saw in the forest. I then update Mary on what we found. I see. What a close call for you. <sighs> I can hear a relief in her voice. But why did she let Mashida go? If you must know, after you left, Lord Mashida insisted on traveling to the forest as well. Her eyes flicker over to Mashida. I'm not I'm not one to just sit around. Mashida shrugs nonchalantly. It was quite the issue. A selfish attitude like that could got all you mark bearers killed. I normally would have refused. Did something happen? No. I admit I had a foreboding feeling. I sensed danger was closing in on you, Lord Ch Lord H Vactic. <laughs> Such a dumb name. So he went, an emergency measure. Lord Mashida, please know that I would not allow such a thing a second time. A cool voice is icier than more usual. Mashida's so hard-headed, I wonder if she's actually getting through to him at all. Now, from what you have told me, you are positive that it was Shimi O oh who gave Lord Shao his mark. Yeah, man, that ugly monster is definitely the huge man I saw, man. The fact that I have mar the mark now too proves it. We should have rubs at his wrist, smirking. So, what exactly are you planning? Don't tell me you're seriously thinking of fighting that thing. There's no way to you when you're completely mad if you think you can. She's right, man. I certain someone's awesome bullets didn't even scratch it. We need a tank or something to beat that thing, cuz. <sighs> the room falls silent. I'm sure all of us are thinking about what we saw back at the forest. There's no way we can do anything about a monster like that. We have to leave it to the police. You honestly believe they'll do anything? Go and make a suicide pact with that gnaw of thinking. But leave me out of it. What? How dare you? Yo, boss, all this high and mighty talk coming from you. That mean, you've got an idea how to beat a man? How the hell would I know that? But I'm willing to risk my life to find one. His shadow's horse. He's probably uneasy. Christy shivers. Sho just glares at Mashita. An awkward silence falls yet again. We're wasting time. We've got to do something, but... <sighs> I can't believe I have to take charge. I need to force everyone into action. They can think about what we need to do while we're walking around. I'm going back to the forest. I want to learn more about Shimio. Shimio. I could use some help. Uh, you say that, but... No way we can find a needle in a haystack, man. We gotta have a clue first. Then, why don't we check out the bee farm that's north of H Shrine? My reports say several people have seen Shimio there. Hardly anyone goes there now with the weird events in the forest. Why is a bee farm up there? A cult called Honey Bee Family used to live on the land. No one's there anymore, though. How come? They. 
committed mass suicide. A mass suicide in the woods. I've heard that about. I've heard about that somewhere. Machida might have mentioned it. Mentioned something earlier before we entered the forest. The tabloids and gossip shows ate it up five years ago. They never revealed the details though, so the public doesn't know. Oh yeah, man, I remember that. But my club took up all my time back then, so I don't know much. You seem to know quite about the f about the forest, Christy. Re read up on it to find a primo spot. Don't be an ass. I was put in charge of the report, so I did my research. Honeybee family was very insular and ve and very secretive. I heard the mass suicide end was all the all the members following their leader. New channels chalked it up to their discontent with modern society. What happened to the leader? Rumors say it was also suicide, though. I saw an old picture of him in. He was a huge obese man. Suddenly everyone is holding their breath. No doubt we're picturing the same thing. The monster at the forest entrance. Man, dead guys come back to life? Oh hell no. We were gonna we wanna go to a place with a zombie? That's totally insane, bruv. It's just like the rumors say that the forest is cursed. There's no way I could. Standing there, the voices of suicide victims surrounded me. Shut the hell up, hey! No more words out of those toilet flaps! But now, it's not the only the forest that's cursed. I failed to kill myself. And now I'm at this mansion. I'm cursed too. And so are all of you. Her mutters have a dark edge. If Shimo is somehow connected to Honeybee family, then the key to destroying his grudge is going to be there. Alright, what are you going to do, old lady? You still want to die? Well, this bitch said, I'm considering it, but I'll help you guys while I settle on my decision. I'll pass on monster fighting. Wow. You'll help? I'm shocked. If you leave your mark alone, you won't need to hike back out there. Well, I hate owing strangers. Especially pushy guys like you. She seems grateful that we saved her. There's no reason to refuse her help. We need as much as we can get. The night is drawing to a close. The key to escaping the mark does not seem to lie within the forest. Lady Chrissy has said Shimio was often seen near the bee farm. It may hold the connection to him. Good luck. Well, we know who we're taking. We're gonna take Chrissy because... No, not that good. But, um... Um, male. An injury forces former baseball player. His prickly attitude seems to stem from that, but he treasures his friends. His stuff is a cover, how terrified he is, and he's come for help. Christy, a former who was forced to resign because of a scandalous affair. She came to the forest to commit suicide. She has strong spiritual power, spiritual powers and often hears mysterious voices or sees ghost-like figures. Obviously, we're going to take her with us. <laughs> and I will catch you and we will be going to the forest or the bee farm sorry next episode Alright guys, catch you all in the next one.